Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry, giving you weekly tips and tools to get organized and get prepared. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing if you want more ideas on how to lead an organized lifestyle, whether you're at home or traveling or getting prepared. I'm actually here in my bedroom. This is the foot of my bed. Those are pom-poms from my Moroccan blanket that I ordered from Etsy. So this is kind of a new background. Um, so just wanted to let you know where I am. I'm going to be filming today the camping condiments that I use when we go camping. So it's April, going to be May. That's the time when we start camping here in Arizona. The weather is absolutely beautiful right now and we'd like to get away and go to the outdoors. So I'm going to show you what I use for my camping condiments. Here is my condiments kit and I got this toiletries bag from Amazon. I'm going to link it below and anything similar to it. So if this color is not available, there are other um, ones like this with the same type of setup, but in different colors and a different company. So I'll try to link those as much as I can below. Um, this is the brand right now. And what I like about it is, look, you can really fit a lot in here. They do have a lot of good reviews. It has this holder here. Now, this is a, a little bit heavy, so most likely... Um, It'll just go from the car to the camping table. It's not going to be something that I'll be carrying around, which is not what I do anyway. Usually I set up a kitchen table on our campsite and it stays there pretty much for the whole weekend or for the few days that we are staying there. And you can see it opens with a zipper. It's pretty sturdy. And the thing that I like about this is that you can lay it flat like this across the table. It also has a hook over here where you can hang it up onto one part of the table. I've camped enough times that I know pretty much what we're going to eat for a three-day weekend and so I know what to put in our condiments bag. So sometimes it's a trial and error. There's things that I brought that we never really used the whole weekend and so these are the things that I know we pretty much use on a typical camping trip. Again, our campsite is one where there are facilities or there's water available. There's a little general store, you know, a check-in place. It's not out in the wilderness. It's not um, hiking to a remote spot. So this is, um, you know, food for us is very important when we uh, go camping. It's kind of one of the highlights of the day. So we don't just open up a can of beans and roast some hot dogs over the fire, although we do like to eat hot dogs during camping. I actually make food ahead of time. So when we uh, set up our campsite, I usually have chicken adobo and rice for that evening. Maybe over the weekend, we'll have some hamburgers or even pasta. Sometimes I've made shrimp scampi. And, you know, sometimes we get a little bit luxurious like that when we go camping. So again, that's how we camp, just depending on how you camp and what type of food that you want, you're going to put the condiments and the cooking supplies that you're going to need. So for up here, you can see that this is how the bag is set up. It has a little mesh zipper pocket here, three pockets here that are divided with some stitching. Here's a larger pocket mesh. And then here is another pocket with um, this cover here and it's see-through. So we will start up here. So in this little mesh pocket, I just have some soy sauce packets. Uh, again, we do eat some Asian food while we're out on the campsite. And whenever you go to takeout places, you can always um, grab extra packets, put them in here, whether it's ranch dressing, um, hot sauce, honey, things like that. And here I have Tabasco because when I make eggs in the morning, I love Tabasco on my eggs and we use that for other stuff too. Also honey, so we always make some type of pancakes or um, a French toast. Uh, we usually don't do waffles. If we have waffles, then they're pretty much ready made and we just heat it up. But we like to have honey there. Um, Maybe we'll bring an extra syrup or I could put syrup in this bottle versus the Worcestershire sauce. So just depends on how you want to set this up. And then I also have here mayo. And what I did was I just went to different stores like my grocery store, the Dollar Tree, um, the big box stores like Walmart and went through their condiment section and looked at stuff that would uh, that were smaller you know so here 
we have a 5.5 full ounce. Um, it's hard to put this with one hand. Okay, so I'll do that later. And then this one is the 12 ounce, the Tabasco, what is that, two full ounces. And they're, they're going to have those sizes. So just look around, maybe go to a couple different stores. I probably ended up going to um, maybe three stores, two grocery stores, and the Dollar Tree to see what they had here uh, or available as far as smaller size bottles for condiments. And then this one, this is great because it kind of hides the zipper there. And you can use any type of bag. I used to put my condiments in kind of like a shoe box. Um, and it kind of protected the condiments that way. But I decided I wanted to do this because I definitely wanted something with a hook and it's just easier to hook that on so that when I'm done using this, I can just hook it up to the kitchen table and then the space on the table is clear. Uh, oh yeah, before I forget to show you this, this is from the Dollar Tree and basically it's like a light. So at night, if I need to, you know, look at this, uh, find something usually I have a headlamp but if for some reason person looking doesn't have one they could just look at this quickly um, it's a pretty decent light and then this is a bottle opener and it's a keychain so it hooks onto this pretty well okay so here I just have mustard okay Let's see how many ounces this is this is eight ounces and then the ketchup is 14 ounces okay and relish yes relish 12.7 full ounces and what you do is once you get the condiments that you really want and the spices you just um, put them in here like Tetris right just try to fit it in and it's amazingly fits you know you find a way for it to fit and then over here in the plastic covered area are my main spices and oil so here I have olive oil now make sure you keep these types of containers because you can definitely reuse them so after this olive oil is done I can refill it with olive oil again or maybe I want to use canola oil or whatever oil you guys use um, it's good because you know these type of containers are not you know prolific you know so they're they're good to keep on hand okay and reuse them right so we have just the typical salt and pepper you could get this at any store now you can always take the salt in this container let's say you like Himalayan salt or um, you like um, kosher salt gosh I couldn't think of that you can take whatever is in here out and fill it with this but what's important is that you have the container you can also look on Amazon and find little condiment bottles which I tried to do and I just figured it was just a lot easier to get what they already had at the store and here's some black pepper and you know you've seen these all the time the little McCormick ones these are perfect sizes again keep the container when you're done with this and you can just refill it or put a different type of um, spice in there and the good thing with these is that it already has the the holes in it to um, shake it out and you could just use a label maker to put the correct label of whatever spice you're going to have there um, so these are labeled this is uh, these are like the little pill bottles or the little uh, toiletries bottles you know like you could put like lotion in here or those thicker moisturizers or creams that you get from little toiletry bags uh, that you fill your, on your own so you could get these at any big box store Amazon look at the Dollar Tree that you know like the pill boxes or um, the um, toiletries containers and just fill it up and use your label maker to put the uh, name of the spice here now the only thing that will be different here is that it's not going to have the holes to shake it out so you just have to be careful when you open it up and you know it'll just be something that you pinch onto your food and again garlic powder we use this a lot steak seasoning and then over here this is another em this was an empty container that's meant for toiletries this was never used so you definitely don't want to mix if you had lotion or shampoo or something like that in a bottle like this definitely don't put food in it right or any type of food uh, any um, 
a liquid like oil or sauces, right? Like you just don't mix it. That's common sense, but just wanted to give that caveat. And then here I just use the label maker. And so this is Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Did I say that right? Do you guys have a hard time saying that word? I think that was okay. Well, we use this cause we usually make steak, um, during our camping. Like I said, we eat like we try to eat like kings and queens when we go there. We have fresh fruit, um, breakfast. We always have bacon and eggs and hash browns. I love it. One of the best things about camping out in the nature and eating good food. Okay, so that is pretty much what I have. And you can see how nicely it fits into this section here. Okay, and um, let me try to turn this around to show you when it's this way. So when you're at the table cooking, at, um, you can either, you know, it could be horizontal, it can be this way, and you can you can see everything. So if, if it's not you getting stuff in the bag, somebody else, they know exactly what's in here, and that's what I love about this. All right, so these are the condiments that we must have when we go camping. Let me know in the comments below the spices and the condiments that you must have when you and your family go camping. This is what it looks like when this is hanging. And so again, I used to have pretty much the same condiments, but in a more of a bin shoebox type. And I decided to put it in a toiletries bag and you can see just the function of it is that when there's not enough space on the table or when I'm done, I can just hang it off the table and it's very convenient and functional. I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy your next camping trip and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.